One of the big challenges I face on this project is the amount of wood waste that I'm gonna have. We're talking thousands of trees, mostly dead, that have to come down. And I'm gonna turn the wood itself into usable lumber and firewood and all of that, but there's still gonna be a lot of half rotten wood on the ground that can't stay and a lot of branches. And so what I'm gonna do with most of it is burn it. The issue, of course, is as the weather gets hotter and drier, it may be hard to do that. And I'm supposed to have a water source nearby. And I do have a hose, obviously, but it's not gonna reach way out into the woods. So I think what I'm gonna do is I need to process all the logs anyways. And that means either bring them up here to be milled into lumber or turned into firewood. And I think the job really gets away from me if I just let all that stuff sit and just log it and go crazy and have it stacks and stacks. So I think what I'm gonna do is this whole area that you see here is all gonna be my vegetable garden. And I think what I'm gonna do is have many, many, many small fires here as long as I'm allowed to and as long as it's safe to do that. And I'm gonna stop, uh, rather than let it go to ash, I'm gonna make biochar. So we got this fire going here. You can see that there's still some kind of twiggy stuff in there. It's looking fairly good. But I'm gonna put this out. Uh, the law in Alaska requires me to put it out if I'm not here. Not that I'm particularly concerned about that. I don't need the government telling me not to burn down my house or my neighborhood. Just common sense. So, and I also want the benefit of the biochar because if I make a series, and by a series, I mean many, 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 many small fires in this area, uh, I'm allowed 10 foot by four foot at a time, and I do that, then I can ha turn this whole area into one that is completely filled with biochar. And then when I make my raised beds, I can get my skid steer and push it up and, and use it as a base, doing some hegel culture or some biochar in the bottom of my, my beds. So the first step here is, I think, just to put this thing out. Um, and by out, I mean out out, not kind of out, not mostly out, but out out. So I'm gonna preserve the biochar and I'm also going to make sure that this thing's not dangerous. Now we did make the fire today in a pile of snow. So I think that the chance of this going anywhere is exactly zero. Nevertheless, it's not zero until it's out out. So I'm gonna spray water on this start to stop the burning process and leave some lovely, lovely charcoal for future farming and gardening purposes. See, it's just snow there. Um, but also just to make sure that this fire is safe. I can go have some dinner, I can relax, and I know that there's absolutely zero chance that this fire is gonna escape and cause problems. So that's how I'm gonna solve this problem and get the lovely benefit of hundreds or even thousands of pounds of biochar at the same time. All right, thanks.